morning, rest is getting harder. We're going to start off today with a game against Man City. I'm more likely going to sim the game against Cardiff, try and get some transfer business done, then play the cup game against Ipswich, because uh, that's a local derby, so I'm more interested in playing that than Cardiff. But anyway, without further ado, let's get into that first game. Let's get into that City game. Oh, so it's not only is it legendary, not only is it five minutes, not only is it the shitty had stadium, but it is snowy. Absolutely wonderful. Well, here we are. It's actually snowing at the same time at the Etihad Stadium. The weather up north is just amazing. The league table's looking pretty interesting. It's so tight up that top end of the table. It's ridiculous. I, mean, I can't believe we're only three points off being top of the table, which is just... It's just, just my mind boggles at how close this season is. I don't think I've been in a Premier League season where it's been this astronomically close. It's just it's just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. So the Manchester City team first. You know, Hart, Zabaleta, Company, Nastasic, Kolarov, Fern Fernando, Kedra, oh no, Kedira, oh my days, he's one to look out for. Milner, Nasri, Silva, Negredo. I mean, they've got such an amazing side, they really have. But of course, our wonderful side with Mansa, Long, Lachelles, Benedetti, Mings, Gilby, Moncur, AJ, Ali, Gabs and Jordan on the bench, Bentley, Cookie, Cole, Annabelle, Shalaba, Dale and Aldair. Right, let's see if we can pick up a point at least. It's going to be a tough game. City are always tough to play against, unfortunately. Oh, have I played him on side? No, it doesn't matter. Gilby, Kadira, dominating the midfield. He'd done that in the first game. He's such an amazing player. Oof, the first strike, David Silva over the bar. He's such a pain, Silva. He just... Oh, it takes the deflection. He just drops off into these little holes. It causes you so many problems. Or I should say, it causes me so many problems. We're just adding to our own pressure at the moment. We're just inviting him onto us. Oh, my days. Milner. Oh, he switched wings. They keep switching wings. Milner was down his right-hand side. Now he's down the left-hand side, cutting inside. Not the greatest strike, but I think Mansa had that covered anyway. Watch Silver. Watch Silver. Gilby go Silver. Okay, pass him on. Oh, he's done me inside. Oh, he's done me. Oh, my days. How's that gone wide? I didn't think they had a right to go near the target. Jordan drifting across into Deli Alley. And the halftime whistle has to go. That's when we have a chance to actually create something. Not an enjoyable first half. It's been the Kadira show. It's Kadira nil. Cole you nil. Oh, Man City have taken off Milner and bought on. Oh, Havers Navas. Really? So they've just added pace to their side, which is fantastic. I'm struggling as it is. Trying to keep to grips with bloody Kadira. And they bring on pace. That's all I need. Oh, it's false to one of their players. We never seem to win many of the second balls. AJ, get in there, son. Just stand up. Just stand up. Just stand up. Longer, you've got to get out to him. Don't dive in. Great save. No, not the follow-up. Oh, for fuck's sake. Fucking unbelievable. Kadira setting up the chance for Silva. Silva with the shot. Mansa with the save. And Nazri coming in that far post. Oh, frustrating. So half the time on Legendary, they can't string too many passes together. But when it gets to the last 10 minutes, they can string every single fucking pass together. That's just a pure miracle. Not lose the ball. Ridiculous. If they played like this all the time, you'd never win a fucking game. It's just ludicrous. Absolutely fucking ludicrous. What a load of fucking bollocks. Final score, scum one, call you nil. So the transfer window is open. We have Aldair. Oh, fuck off. I can't be bothered listening to you. You're such a pain in the ass. George Monker suffered a broken metatarsal. He's out for five weeks. Fan flabbity dabbly dozy. I'm so chuffed that he's out for five weeks. 85 to 94. Two months. Okay, we'll sign you just in case. You never, ever, ever know. It was a 71 to 91. Not really interested. Right. Apart from that, not interested. Come on. I want to have a quick look. Right. No one there that interests me either. Transfer offers. Gabs and Jordan Rhodes. Okay, so we know the transfer window's open. Of all the players I want to sell, I don't want to be selling these two. That's, that's ridiculous. Reject all offers. Just jog on. I'm not selling Gabs. Not only if you offered me 100 million would I sell him. Um, whoa, are you taking the mic? They're offering me 4.6 million for someone who's worth a base value of 5.5. Wow, you've missed off the one in front of it. I would think about it at 15 mil, but do you know what? Jog on. You're having a 
bubble bath, an absolute bubble bath. And you, jog on. Bordeaux offering me 4.3 million. <sighs> That's ridiculous. Right, we're going to do a very quick scouting report, or squad report, I should say. We're going to fly through this. Boys are growing. Boys are doing... Oh, look at Gilby. He's growing. He's doing really good. Deli Alley has 77. That's absolutely mental gaps. How many goals has he got now? Six and 17. There's me boy, Jordan Rhodes, doing really, really well. Yep, you can jog on. 95 drip. If you had four-star skill moves, I would love and adore you. Absolutely love and adore you. Oh, there you are. Look at Cole. He's gone up. That was doing well as well. He's gone up plus three. Cole, he's gone up. Oh, my God. I'm so... I'm so confused over the whole Cole situation. I feel like I should play him and stick gabs in the cam roll, but I don't know, he's just not being clinical up top. If a decent offer comes in for him, I think I will move him on and perhaps have a look at another striker. Oh my God, the investment I made in him. Oh my days, he's grown so well. He's grown so well. You can pick him up so cheap, so chuffed. Right, let's move this on. Let's get into the transfer window. See if we get any decent offers in. We will be simming the first game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. F fuck off. You just jog on. Oh, no. A an offer comes in for Cole. We thought he needs. I'm going to put him on the transfer list because otherwise the board are going to sell him and then I'm going to get absolutely nothing for him, which really, really frustrates me because in the offline career mode that I'm doing with Cole Chester United, we won League One, but. Um, it was a really, really... Where is the office? It was a really, really uh, tough scenario because they sold Tom... The board sold Eastman from under my nose in January. He made a complaint at the beginning of January, I think it was. No, at the beginning of December, saying he wasn't getting enough games. Um, and in the transfer... He's sitting on a bench and in the transfer window, he wanted to leave. Even though Eastman had played every single game since the start of the season. The only ones he missed out on were the actual uh, friendlies. And... I could loan him out, but no, do you know what? Stuff it. I'm not. I just can't be dealing with his bullshit hassle. And the same with um, the Spurs lad we had on loan. We actually have him in the career mode as a, as an actual player. And the same thing happened. He moaned that he wasn't getting enough games, though he played every single game. The one lad who hadn't, that was actually Frankie Kent. He hadn't played the games. He hadn't made a, He hadn't batted an eyelid. He was fine. He was happy. He came on a couple of games. That was it. And they sold both of them within three days from under my nose and I got absolutely no money which was devastating absolutely devastating but we picked up uh, I did go and pick up Cardoza no I didn't who did I pick up I picked up someone else I picked up a I think it was a Cameroon or a Nigerian centre back off a free transfer and he'd done me he done me proud he started to grow won me games and as I say in the end we won the actual uh, league title which was brilliant but having two players sold from under your nose in a three day period at the start of the transfer window, all because they said they hadn't played enough games, considering they played every single bloody game, was just... It just... You can't even comprehend the bullshit in this game. And Coley scores! Oh, you're making it harder for me, Coley. You're making it harder. We come away with a 2-1 win. So glad I chose to see him that one. I think that was, a, that was a stroke of brilliance and genius. We're going to move it on. Hold on, no. We've still actually got some transfer window... Oh my day! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Nineteen point four to thirty point five. I don't. I do, and I don't, and I do, and I don't want to sell him. He is so much o penis up topness. It's so much funness. I just don't know what to do. Us. Oh my god. Um. Okay. Okay. Do you know what? I'm going to counter offer. If they want him. Oh, I don't know if I want to do this. I should keep him because he is good. He is good. He's just going through a bad runner, a bad patch. That's all I have to think about. He's going through a bad patch. I could bring him out of this bad patch. Oh, uh, do you know what? I'm going to make it unrealistic. This is my way of sort of saying I don't really want to sell him. But, you know, if they give me 50 million... I'll, I'll quite happily take 50 million. I don't think they will. I'm pretty confident they won't give me 50 mil. If they do give me 50 mil, the episode will probably end here and I'll go and lie down for a little while because I'll, I'll have more contemplation to do, to be honest. I don't want to let him go now. Why did I do that? Thank God for that. Yes, jog on, Benfica. Goodbye.
transfer offer. All right, this should be it for a loan deal. Yep, we'll take that. Sanchez can go out on loan. That's not a problem at all. Uh, Alex Winter, Gaffer, I've come to discuss my wages. I work hard in training for the team. And I feel she paid a little bit more as a result. Do you know what, Alex? You are absolutely fantastic. So paying you a few more quid, I have no problem with that. Oh, Navis, can I offer him a new contract? Uh, it wouldn't let me give him more than a year contract, and now I can't negotiate with him. That's really pissed me off. Why can't I give him a two-year contract? It only allowed me to offer a one-year deal to him. I don't get that. That's going to screw me over. That is going to screw me over. What is Winter after? He just wants a one-year extension. Well, I'll make you important, and I'll tell you what, I'll double your money. I'll double your money, because you, you are worth it. You may not grow much, but I'll tell you what, you are fun to play with. You are a you, good, solid lad. I'll give you that year extension. Please don't come back and tell me you want to leave the team. I'll be gutted. Right, so we're going to go back to this side. Monker is injured. Now, this could be an absolute blessing for Cole, because what I'm going to do is pull Gabs back. Ali's going to drop into midfield, and Cole's going to go up top. Even though he's a little bit knackered, he can go up top. And then off the bench, I'm going to bring on... Yeah, I'm going to bring into the foray Super Sammy Smods out there. Hopefully someone will offer for you and we can just get rid of your son because you're doing my absolute tree in. Do you know what? I'm going to sim it. I can't be fucked to play Ipswich. I really can't. People might moan. I don't really care. I don't particularly like Ipswich. They're scum in my opinion. I'd rather sim it, get it out of the way, get them in a transfer window if I'm honest. Come on, get the first goal, boys. Par's been booked for town. Yes, we've got a goal through road penalty, 39 minutes or 30 minutes. 2 0, Cole gets a goal. I've made the right decision to keep him. We're keeping him. Cole, he's staying. Oh my god, Cole, he's just got two. It's 3 0. Go on, Cole, get the hat trick. Get the hat trick. Par's been sent off. It finishes 3 0. I'm happy with that. I'll take that. I'll play the next round of the FA Cup. For the game I see in the FA Cup, I'll play the next round. I've got no qualms with that whatsoever. A transfer offer has come in. No, 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 no. Wow, 31.2. <laughs> what the fuck? It's gone up from 30 and a half to 31. No. I'm not doing it. He's not for sale. He's staying. In fact, I might give him a stupid contract now just to keep him at the club. Transfer offer for Sammy Walker. That should be a loan deal. Yep, that's a loan deal, right? So Sammy can go out on loan. That's not a problem. A couple of players I'm thinking about. We'll have a quick look at my transfer list. There's my transfer list. Goalkeeper-wise, I was looking at uh, Jack Butland. I really do like Jack. I uh, haven't used him since FIFA 13. Uh, he's of a perfect age, to be honest. If I could construct a deal with him and Bentley, that would be really nice. Uh, Jasper Cleason. I really like this lad. I've used him a lot extensively on all my team. I played a couple of hundred games with him. I really like him. I think he's really, really good. And his contract expires in six months. So I could pick him up just predominantly for his wages, which would be fantastic. Depending on how the series goes, if I can get the, the first season done and dusted, we might be able to go in the second season before FIFA 16. But I would be pushing it. But we'll see how it develops, how it goes. You never know. We might be able to do it, which would be absolutely fantastic. I'd really enjoy doing a second season. But only if, you, obviously, if you guys want me to. If you don't, then uh, we won't. We'll wait until FIFA 16 and make a crack on with that. Matt Ritchie, someone I'm, I'm really, really interested in. I, I, I know he plays left midfield, right midfield, but I'll drop him into a centre mid, right centre mid role and um, just abuse that left foot that he's got. He's got an amazing left foot. So I'd be actually really interested to see how much they would really want for him, but... Hmm. We'll have to wait and see when his report comes back. Jordi Classy, a player that I really, really do love and enjoy. I've got his team of the season, an ultimate team, and it's phenomenal. And uh, his base card is phenomenal. And I just think he's a really underrated player. I think he's a phenomenal player who could do a hell of a job in the Premier League. He's an absolute little star for me. And a nice, I'd, I'd be quite happy to pick him up. But at the same time, it'd either be Richie Classy or Yannick Bolassi if I could pick him up. I would be dead chuffed. He's got the five-star skill moves, and we really do lack players with skill moves. And I think his five-star skill moves would add so much fun for me personally, especially if I played him in a, in a cam role and I could switch up the, the three up top. 
I could use Coley more as an impact player or perhaps Jordan as an impact player coming off the bench with his height to get the old goal to his nugget. I don't know. I mean, it depends on price realistically with Yannick Bolassi. If they want silly money, then um, obviously I wouldn't bother. Um, Adam Mayer, or Mayher, I really like this lad. Another special talent coming out of Holland. You know, his four-star skill moves as well really does fill me full of joy. And he can play cam and centre midfield, so I've got a bit of versatility. I still love John Gudetti. And I like the look of this lad. He's ridiculous. He's just, he's like an ox that can finish. He'd just be like a battering ram. And I thought to myself, do you know what? Artem and Jordan up top, that would just be like the dream partnership to bulldoze the people. But at the same time, it would mean that I'd have to get rid of someone like um, Coley or Gabs. Or it just wouldn't happen. Or I'd have to get rid of Dale and Annabelle. And, you know, that's more realistic. But we'll just have to wait and see. I'm not too pressured on when I make my moves in the transfer window. I'm going to leave it a fraction of time before I actually start, you know, pursuing them. It depends on how much money I get, to be honest. If I can get some cash in pretty sharpish, I'll be really, really chuffed. You know, if a few players could now sell, I'll be really, really chuffed. Because next game is Arsenal, um, South Africa. No, I don't want to do international management. Alex Winter, thank you, son. I'm absolutely chuffed with that. So it looks like we are going to be playing the Arsenal game unless a transfer offer comes in. Unless a transfer offer comes in. There, no, no transfer offer has come in. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the into the Arsenal game and uh, see if we can pick up three points. Arsenal are in fourth. We'll have a quick look at the table before we uh, before we jog into the game. Spurs open a bit of a gap, six points over us. City still in second. Chelsea, Arsenal, Hammers down to fifth. A couple of points ahead of us. United just on the same amount of points, and then you've got Villa, who are four points off us. Nine wins, eight draws, four losses at this moment in time, which is not too bad. Liverpool moving up into 16th. They're making a push for the title or Champions League place. Wow, it's going to be tough. Arsenal are in, looks like they're in fine form. So, um, yeah, let's not worry about that and get straight into the game. Rainy, legendary, Western Homes. So, as I say, it's raining at the Western Homes Stadium for our game against Arsenal. Should be a good game, to be fair. Top of the table clash, as you can see from that table. Who would have thought we'd still be holding on to sixth position? Bear in mind, we only have simmed two league games. A win against uh, Stoke was the first one, and whoever we played, Cardiff. A win against Cardiff. But we smashed Cardiff early doors in the season anyway, so I was pretty confident we were going to beat them. But I'm, I'm pretty happy with the team at the moment. I'm glad I've made a, a decision over Coley. He's too good to let go, and he's still worth a lot of money. If we do do the next season, perhaps in the summer, we could uh, realistically look to let him go and sort of pocket ourselves. Hopefully around 30, 40 million quid would be absolutely phenomenal. Even 25, 30 million would be absolutely ridiculous. But we'll just have to wait and see how it pans out. That's the side. Pretty strong side. Pretty strong bench. The Arsenal team, I'm intrigued to see. Still got Dumbia, that scares me. That 4-3-3, three, three, that scares me. They've got Walcott on the bench, Welbeck on the bench. That scares me. I'm surprised they're not playing Koscielny. But then again, Mertesacker was quite solid in that first uh, game, in the, uh, our first encounter with Arsenal when they beat us. So hopefully we can right the wrongs of that first game and pick up three points. That would be nice. But as I say, I'll happily take a point right now. Oh, Jordan's gone. Coley with the ball over the top. Oh, my God, are we in? Oh my, what a clearance. What a save from Shezers. And then Debushi with the clearance. Wow. Absolutely wow. Oof, AJ. There we go. Jordan. Gap. Do you know what? Let's open up. Finesse shot. Oh my god, that was so close. I oh, need to get Gabs in more of those positions. Oh, right. That's the sighter. Yeah, even Gabs. You see his facial expression there? Even he knows that was a sighter. That was close. I picked him up as a free transfer, and all I've been paying him is three grand. He's never asked for a contract extension or pay rise. I'm really quite happy with that, as I've been split open, and it's... Oh, my God. Alexi Sanchez. What have you just done, son? <laughs> what have you... Oh, why has he gone for the spectacular? Why did he go... <laughs> that serves you right, Arsenal. Oh, they're just breaking me down so e off the bar. They're breaking me down so easily. This is like a training session for them. Can we get him wide? Yes, go on, you've got the pace. You've got the pace, get to that byline. Where's Jordan? Where's Jordan? 
that felt like a quick half. A really quick half. But we've been dominated, to be fair. We've had no real spectacular opportunities, apart from that gab shot, which was pretty impressive. Alexi Sanchez is, should be gutted, but it's Cole nil, Arsenal nil at half-time. Might have to make some substitutions uh, around about 60th minute, 70th minute maybe. Depends how the game's going. The Arsenal players are making the runs off the ball that I want my players to make them sort of runs. It's it's phenomenal watching them. Oh my god, that's another quality opportunity. Only a half chance really, to be fair. Nothing more than that, but it's the fact that he got into that position. Oh, it's a lot worse than what Gabs was. Not that I really used the skills, but it's just an excuse, I think, because he's annoying me. Arsenal are tearing me a new arsehole again. Come on. Great. We are literally hanging on for dear life. That's it. Good ball forward. Play the 1-2. Into Jordan. Jordan, you've got time now. Let's not fuck this up. They've both dived in. Oh, oh. It's come to out there. Can he make himself a hero? Oh, my God. He's made himself a hero. Oh, my day. That's unbelievable. We have no right to be in front. Arsenal, the back two, fuck it up completely. And out there. What a strike, son. What a strike. That's, that's added at least 10 million to your value. I can't believe we're winning this 1-0. This is ridiculous. We have no... God given right to be winning this game in any way, shape, or form. Arsenal have dominated us from the start of the game up until now. Oh, they've pushed right forward. Oh, the rest blown the full tide whistle. I don't know how we've won that game. I really don't. I think statistically it's going to show Arsenal absolutely dominated me in every every single statistic. Possession, passing, shooting, shots on target, everything. They had it all. I have no idea how we rode our luck to get a 1-0 win. And I was right. Arsenal 10 shots, we had 3. Arsenal 6 on target, we had 2. Arsenal 57%, we had 43. Wow, 82 pass compared to our 74. They literally dominated us. I have no idea how we came away with a 1-0 win. How lucky and jammy was that? That's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Ridiculous. But I'm not going to complain at the end of the day. I'm really not going to complain. That's pushed us into fourth. That's ridiculous. We're doing so well. We're, we're, we're holding on. We're holding our own. We're pulling out results when we need to. Any more transfer offers before we conclude the episode? And then we'll be playing at Southampton. Tournament prize money. Be interesting to see how much we got from the Cole U game. Match rescheduled. Request to be transferred from Delhi Alley. I spent a lot of time considering my future and all thought that the timing is bad. I know that I need a change of scenery. I'd like a move immediately. What the living fuck? We got 57,000 from the FA Cup game. Oh, it's Arsenal. They're offering me 10 million. No, 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 no. If he's going to go, then I want 25 million. 25 million. It's the only way this deal is going to be done. 8 million. No. The price is 25. Just because he wants to leave, I don't see why I should sell him sell him cheaply. He's still got a long-term contract. It wasn't long ago he signed a new contract. Deli Alley's contract. Let's have a look. Deli Alley has a three-year, six-month contract. I don't have to sell him cheaply. 10 million is just not enough. That's, that's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous. Do you know what? I'm going to sim the game. I might even get the transfer window out in one episode. I'm so pissed off right now. That's just, that's, 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 oh my God, that's done my head in. This fucking game. Honestly, this absolutely shitty crap game, EA. You're absolute scum. He's been happy all the way through the season. He's been happy with me for four fucking seasons. He's played so well this season. He's played so many good games. He signed a new contract. He's got nearly four years left, for Christ's sake. Absolutely ridiculous.
ridiculous. I cannot believe they're going to force me to sell one of my star players. A player I'm building around. 2-2 draw against Southampton. I'll take that, Massey and Annabel. We've got three messages in the transfer offer. Here we go. Uh, transfer for Frankie Kent. That's going to be a loan deal. We have reviewed your asking price of £25 million for Deli Alley and decided to match it and go ahead with the deal. Oh, for fuck's sake. Absolutely taking the piss. I'm absolutely pissed off right now. I am so pissed off right now. Anyway, I think we're going to leave it there. I'm just devastated, pissed off, gutted, fucked off. Anyway, until next time, I will catch you the fuck later. And EA, if you're watching, listening, I hope you fucking die. Hated to love it, I'm on the way to the summit. And all the haters are waiting to see the day that I plummet. They better stay in their place because the paper is coming. And when I make it, the bank is getting the payment of nothing. Now I'm destined to make it big. I think by now I made that evident. But I'm grinding till they know Calvin Coolidge is the rapper.